What is up, my lovely, powerful creators? Welcome back to another video, if you're new here. I'm so glad that you're here. Sit back, join us. My name is Erin, and this is where we all come and figure our shit out together. Do you, I'm sorry if you guys hear that. There's construction going on out there. So common manifestation mistakes that I hear from people, and I myself have personally done these things and been stuck in states that I shouldn't have been stuck in. The biggest mistake that you could be making, and I, I'm saying this is the biggest one because it's so easy to get stuck in and then get obsessed with doing, and that is not living in the end and trying to fix every single problem that arises. When you start thinking of every single problem that arises and you're trying to fix everything, it just becomes about fix, fix, fix. I'm doing something wrong. Nothing's working. What can I do? What can I do? Gotta fix it. Gotta fix it. Gotta fix it. Then you're stuck in an endless loop of trying and failing when in reality, you're not even failing. Here's an analogy that really represents what I'm talking about. And I think I heard this somewhere, but I might have made it up. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I was thinking about this last night. Um, okay, so let's say that you are, you're going on a road trip and you set the destination in your GPS, destination, whatever your affirmation is, okay? You're going from Miami to Los Angeles and you've got a couple days drive ahead of keeping your eye on the prize <laughs> of where you're going. So say you start driving and then all of a sudden, oh no, in Alabama, there's a thunderstorm, AKA something pops up in your 3D that you don't wanna see. So we're going to affirm around that. We're gonna change the course. We're gonna go drive around the thunderstorm. So now you're like setting a different point in your GPS. And if you keep doing this, you keep taking all of these detours on your road trip, it's going to end up taking so much longer than just the few days it would have taken you to get there. Now you're looking at like a week of driving because you keep making all these unscheduled stops. You keep rerouting and then you have to reroute again to get back on course. It's just constantly stuck in this endless loop of fix, fix, fix. And now you're burnt out. You're tired, you're confused as why it's not here. You, you don't understand why you don't have everything you've been affirming for. You've got a fucking flat tire, okay? So now you've just literally, you, you've literally derailed yourself. You've made something take a lot longer than it should have been when instead you should have just been focusing on the end, on what your desire was. We get so wrapped up in wanting to have everything when we want it but that is the biggest thing about this journey is we don't actually control that do i believe in manifesting on a time crunch or manifesting by a specific date yes i do think that it can be a thing but when you have your eyes set on this huge end goal prize you need to stop messing with all of the little details and just let it be let it work itself out. It's like when a per when you are manifesting a specific person and you're manifesting being in a long-term committed relationship with them and then now you're realizing oh my birthday is coming up or his birthday is coming up and I want to spend their birthday with them. So now you start manifesting to spend the birthday together instead of keeping your eye on being in that relationship. You don't know your, your subconscious is always trying to find the fastest, most efficient and effective way to get your desire to you. It doesn't take the long route on purpose. You set, you tell it to do something and it is set on doing that and it is going to make everything and everyone move in the right places that they need to move to get that shit to you as fast as it can. That and resistance and wavering is why we sometimes end up seeing things in our 3D that throw us off and it looks like the complete opposite of our manifestation is because maybe your specific person needed to not be with you on your birthday to think about you all day and then realize how much they missed you. We get so caught up in having everything right now and not that I'm saying that's not possible, but I'm just saying that sometimes 
it would have just been easier if we would have just trusted our subconscious and let it take the route that it wanted to take. Because now the day after your birthday, they could be texting you, calling you, wanting to see you. But you've just done all these like spinning, confusing things and you spent your whole birthday wishing for them to contact you and come over and you became so obsessed with it and trying to fix it and now you're like, it's not working, he's not calling me, it's almost the end of the day, he's not calling me, I haven't seen him yet, I haven't seen him yet. Your mind is telling, and you're telling your subconscious to not produce them being there in your reality because you're in the state of it's not working, nothing's working, nothing I affirm now is working. Get your hands out of the pot and just relax. Trust that it's going to come. The only way to get it is by trusting that it's already coming. That's the whole point of manifestation is telling your mind what to do and then trusting that it will work and it will come. And then it will. Having the faith. Just have the faith that it's coming. Another thing where we mess up is is just thinking that the techniques aren't working for us. We're always caught up with what is the best technique? Should I script? Should I affirm? Should I visualize? Should I do inner conversations? Telephone method? There's so many techniques that you can do to bring it to you. There are so many things you can do. You can put on beats and make a rap song saying what you want to happen to get that into your subconscious. I don't, it doesn't matter. This is the thing. Any technique works. Every technique works. Nothing is better than the other. However, I will point out that affirmations are not a technique and you should always be doing your affirmations. Affirmations are the way that you are thinking. Affirmations are your thoughts. You need to keep your mental diet and your affirmations going, 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 going as much as possible. Now, like robotic affirming, um, like that kind of thing, maybe it's kind of getting into techniques. But basically, the, the way that techniques all work and affirming works is because you're repeating yourself over and over and over. And the mind learns by repetition. That's how you learned your ABCs. That's how actors learn scripts on whatever TV show, movie they're on. That's how you learn anything in life. That's how you learned all the body parts, <laughs> every part of the human body on your biology tests. That's how you learn anything is by repetition. Just pick the technique that works best for you. Pick the technique that you feel the best when you're doing. If you like writing, write shit down. If you like playing movies in your head before you fall asleep, play movies that only insinuate the good stuff. If you like, um, if you are the type of person who walks around and has a song stuck in their head all day, like li annoying lyrics just replaying in their head, why is this song stuck in my head? Change your, change all those moments to be affirming on a loop instead, the same one or two over and over until it becomes like a normal, like, it's like a comforting thing to say. Like if somebody starts saying the beginning of this affirmation, it, you automatically just finish it like a song lyric. You don't have to do every single technique out there. If you don't like writing, don't do it. I used to love writing. I used to write everything down. I used to love figuring stuff out like in my journal and all that stuff. But then there just came a point where I kind of stopped doing that. Um, I just recently actually started writing things out again, but not really as like affirmations. I write things out when I'm trying to figure something out in my brain. Like I'm not liking something the way that my 3D is going. So I'll write a different story about it and it kind of helps it sink in better into my brain. Or if something's going bad and I'm pissed off, I will write like a big F you, get all my emotions out and then tear that shit up, burn it. So your subconscious is actually taking that in that when you write a story that you don't like and then you tear it up, it's like you're saying this doesn't exist, I don't like this, this is not gonna happen, this is not truth. Just pick what feels good for you. Pick what you feel like puts you at ease and makes you feel better when you're doing it and just stick with that. You can, do, you can do multiple ones too. You don't have to do one thing only. This whole thing is, yes, about the repetition and getting that thought in there so it's just normal, natural, you automatically think of it than it produces out there. 
However, it is also about keeping that mental diet going, changing your entire concept around this entire topic so that you don't think negatively against it anymore. Because that can start producing negative, repetitive thoughts and we do not want that. Okay, so the third common mistake that I feel like you can also be making is focusing so much on like signs. This is one of the reasons why I can't stand when people are like, oh look, 111, angel numbers, or oh, I'm seeing synchronicities, BBLs. Okay, cool. Are you manifesting signs? Are you manifesting seeing that same repetitive number? Are you manifesting seeing BBLs? Are you manifesting synchronicities? Or are you manifesting your desire? It's nice to see those things, but let it flow right over you and right back out. Like that does not matter. (laughs) Yes, it is a sign that it's imprinting on your subconscious, but do not get so caught up in that stuff that you start to feel like as good as you would feel if you were, as if you got your whole manifestation. Because in the end, that kind of stuff means nothing. And there are so many manifestations that you get without even ever seeing that stuff because you're not focused on it anymore. The fourth thing would be, and this is something that when I started my journey, I was so caught up in this. And it's easy to get caught up in when you start learning that you are the creator. It is so fucking easy for you to get caught up in the whole manifestation process. It's exciting. It's exciting when you realize that you control everything. I know. Maybe you're not even necessarily needing these things, but now you're just consuming content constantly. All you do all day is watch manifestation content. It's comforting. It's nice. And it's nice to learn. I was doing this as a way to just like learn. I wanted to learn everything. But if you are actively manifesting something, stop consuming content that makes you feel better. Like stop watching these people that are kind of like coddling you and and saying, it's okay, your manifestation's on the way. Like I'm here for, it's so nice (laughs) to hear those things. It's so easy to get caught up and someone making you feel better and, you know, like rooting for you and pushing you out, like, or pushing, holding, what, I don't know. (laughs) It's nice. (laughs) But if you're constantly watching, 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 consuming, 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 and you're not actually putting anything into practice, you're not even affirming, you know, you know, you should affirm, but you're too busy. Stop saturating your mind with content and saturate your mind with your affirmations to get your stuff. I was that person. I still sometimes am that person. I hope that if you've been having trouble, you can now see where this is stemming from. All of these things that I mentioned actually have one thing in common and that is wavering, doubting yourself, not making a decision, not sticking to your decision, not actively trying to get what you want. Make a decision and persist. That's all you have to do is make a decision. What do you want? Affirm as if you have it and persist in it until it hardens into fact in your reality. That's it. Just Choose and persist. Keyword choose. You have to choose. Just like if if you see a 3D circumstance come up that you don't like, we don't choose that. But don't keep pushing it away. Don't, Don't not choose something by pushing it away and pretending it doesn't exist. I want you to actually rewire your brain around that situation. Make it make sense in a way that is okay for you like okay if you're manifesting friends you met you met this friend and they're you're like this person is such a good friend they're my best friend i'm so happy that i found a friend like this and then in your 3d and they're like sorry i'm sick i can't go out 
And then you see on social media, somebody posts with them partying. Instead of sitting there and going into this spiral of, oh, they don't like me. They don't want to be my friend. Change that story immediately in your brain. Even if you're not going to, like, first of all, don't react. Don't say anything. Change your story in their brain. Oh, they were feeling sick, but suddenly they started feeling better and just went out and thought that I was sleeping. Like, make some shit up. I don't care how wild it is. Make up the most crazy shit. Be delusional and then just believe it. Make yourself believe that that's true. Even if somebody straight up says, no, they just didn't want to hang out with you. Not in my reality. Not in my mind. This, that's my best friend. That's what I'm saying. You persist, then you keep persisting in the affirmation that that's your best friend. And eventually, like, but you get it. But we don't sit there and put our hands in it, react. We don't give up. We don't stop. We never give up and we never stop. I don't care how bad that 3D is hurting you. Trust me. Trust me. I have been there. We don't give up. You keep persisting through it and you will get what you want. Choose, stick to it, persist in it. It's not about the journey. <laughs> what is this is not Miley Cyrus. It's not the climb. When you have a manifestation, it's not the climb. It's the end goal. Like enjoy your life. Yes. Don't put your life on hold. Go out there and do fun shit all the time. Go out there and live your life. Enjoy everything that you have now while your manifestation is coming. We're not going to lock ourselves up and watch videos all day and affirm all day and get upset when things aren't going our way. Like we're not going to live like that. Lit, enjoy and it'll distract you too while, you're, while your shit's coming. Okay. <laughs> all right. That is it for this video. I hope that it was helpful. I intend that this helps somebody. If you have any questions about anything I just said, leave them in the comments below. If you have any questions about anything else, leave them in the comments below or send me an email. My email is linked below. I'm going to just go ahead and say, don't probably don't message me on Instagram because I have been having the most spam on there. I don't even get on anymore. I'm so, I'm so tired of Instagram and make sure to share this video, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay. Bye.